check, 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 check. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the CHI Health Center, Omaha, Nebraska, as BLK Prime Pay-Per-View enters the boxing world in a massive way. Right behind this banner, we have a giant arena that comes Saturday night will be filled to the rafters for the long-awaited return of the pound-for-pound -pound king and hometown hero, Terrence Bud Crawford, and facing him will be the upset-minded David Avanesi and the WBO welterweight championship will be on the line. My name is Lupe Contreras and joining me on stage we have the aforementioned main event tomorrow night along with, it, with a absolutely packed undercard. Some of the top young talent in the sport facing off against their toughest opposition to date. We will begin our press conference momentarily but before we start I'd like to introduce to you and welcome to the stage boxing legend, former world champion and B.A. Kelp Prime Ambassador, the one and only Super Zab Judah. Thank you. Hey, hey. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have an action-packed night. You see here, both sides are ready. Everybody's ready, locked and loaded. <clears throat> tickets are still available right now, so everybody can log in right now and get some more tickets. If you need it, you can go to BLK Prime, blkprime.com right now and log in and, uh, and uh, order the pay-per-view. And uh, this is going to be an action night pack fights, and um, I can't wait. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to just sit back and watch this. Lupe, back to you, my guy. Thank you very much, sir. As we mentioned, we do have our main event on the stage, but also joining us. Well, we'll start from uh, my right side over here, all the way in. Local hometown hero, also putting his undefeated record on the line, 17-0, 14 KOs, Steven Nelson. He'll be opening up our telecast tomorrow night. Eight rounds, light heavyweight division will be facing off against the fight out of Detroit, Michigan, James Ballard. Followed up by a heavyweight clash set for six rounds or less, also undefeated. Hailing from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and now fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, we have Jeremiah Dreamland Milton. Facing off against the heavy hitter out of Ohio, DeJuan Calloway. Followed up, we have two world title contenders from Odessa, Ukraine, Arnold Kagai, and the rugged fighter out of Mexicali, Mexico, Eduardo Baez, set for 10 rounds in the Super Bantamweight division. And in our co-feature, MMA legend, Chris Cyborg enters the boxing world making her U.S. debut. And she will be welcomed into the boxing world by Gabrielle Holloway. And as we mentioned, the highly anticipated main event, four years in the making, his return to Omaha, Nebraska. It is the WBO Welterweight Championship on the line. It is BLK Prime pay-per-view here at the CHI Health Center. We have the undefeated pound-for-pound -pound king, hometown hero, Terrence Crawford. Across the ring, we have the upset-minded and very dangerous David Avanesian. Let me start with you, uh, Stephen So Cold Nelson. Yes, sir. Your career was chugging right along. You were fighting on some of the top shows in the country on national television. Then you suffered uh, an injury, a pretty traumatic injury to, to your Achilles tendon. Walk us through that injury and the long road back and what can, we can expect from you this coming Saturday night. Um, I was training uh, 2021 for a fight in March. And I was in a, I was in a gym and I was training in this pop. I was like, wow, my career over that fast. But, uh, you know, I did what I was supposed to, you know, did physical therapy, and uh, I'm back. You know, I've been training all year. I've been in multiple camps, getting ready for fights and everything. So, you know, I'm here now. I'm ready. I'm ready to put on a great show from the walkout to the first punch to the last punch thrown. I'm ready. Now, now, you're known for your walkouts. Obviously, you know, you fought on, on some yeah. of the big shows here in Omaha. None bigger than tomorrow night. What can we expect from those walkouts? Any little preview that you have for us? Oh, man, you got to wait. You got to wait. <laughs> you know, like, I'm always here to put on a show. You know, matter of fact, I got some notes right now, you know, for big moments like this. Okay, 
Yeah. Um, shout out to BOK Prime. Yeah. Shout out to BOK Prime for giving us this opportunity. First off, you know, praise to God in, uh, you know, getting us here. Let me see. Uh, oh, yo, here we go. Talk trash to opponent. Oh, yeah. Um, I hope you're ready, man. Hope you're ready, man. Come, hey. I feel bad for you. You know, it's my first fight back. You know, I'm amped. I'm motivated. Uh, I've been training hard for this. So I'm sorry you had to sign the contract for this, but just be ready. I hope you're ready, bro. Yeah, Speaking yeah, of your buddy, opponent, James Ballard, you're a Detroit fighter. Obviously, Detroit has a, a tremendous history in boxing. You know, fighters like Joe Lewis, Tommy Hitman Hearns, Emmanuel Stewart. Tell us about what it means to you to follow in the footsteps of such great, notable names in the sport of boxing. And tell us a little bit about that Detroit style, that Detroit heart you're going to bring in the ring Saturday night. Well, how you doing, everybody? I'm going to tell you like this. We don't come to play no games. At the end of the day, we in there to provide a service to our opponent. It's to sit them down, and that is it or knock them out, or I'm not trying to leave nothing up to the judges. I'm really not. But at the end of the day, to move swiftly throughout the boxing community back in Detroit is tough because, like, there's no reason to get in the ring with a Detroit fighter if you're not mentally ready to do the impossible. That means to put the person down as fast as you can or come out with best combination that you didn't work on. It really doesn't sit well to a Detroit fighter that knows what he knows through old school training. Like when you brought up Tommy Hearns and Emmanuel Stewart, well, it's, it's trainers before them. It's fighters before them that then came up, you know, like at the end of the day, I just want to put it like this. It's trainers and it's fighters that y'all never hear about that actually push these great fighters to be what they should be, you know, and you don't get to hear about these guys, you know, like, and I kind of fall up under one of these categories, you know, like, actually I should have been in like the, the lights, up under the lights, up under the big shows like this. But the injury he had is the same injury I had. I told myself, if I can walk, I can fight. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't sit back and just like, oh, it's over. Uh, it's, no, I'm going to keep on going until I can't do it no more. You know what I'm saying? When my mind gone, I'm gone. That's how I see it. So I know he had a, a Santa list, you know, of what he wanted to happen. But at the end of the day, y'all get to see me fight. Y'all get to see what I can do. Y'all get to see what I bring to the table. When I, and the main thing I'm bringing to the table is my favorite punch. Would you like to know what that is? I am dying to know. What, what is your favorite punch? The one that connect. The one that connects. My, I'm throwing it all night. The one that connect. So, <laughs> Mr. Nelson. Yeah. I'm ready. You got one choice. You can go home right now and chill. Or we can meet up tomorrow and throw them things and go get a burger That's tomorrow. That's two choices. That was two. <laughs> Look, are you, you already, you punch drunk already, bro. Yeah, yeah one choice, he gave me two. <laughs> you well, got an ultimatum. Well, look, I'll see you, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm gonna show up, make show. weight, and get in the ring. That's your ultimatum, that's it. That's all I got for you. Ladies and no gentlemen, choice. that bout opens up the Thank action you. this Thank Saturday you. night, BLK Prime pay-per-view here in Omaha, Nebraska. Following up our, our opening bout, we have our, eight, our, our uh, heavyweight clash set for six rounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, ha hailing from Tulsa, Oklahoma, we have Mr. Jeremiah Dreamland Milton. Now, Jeremiah, you said you've been training with some of the best fighters in the world in Las Vegas, putting in some really hard work. And you said that sometimes in boxing, one of the cruel aspects of the sport is that sometimes you just meet somebody who's better than you. How are you better than your opponent? In what ways and how are you going to showcase that Saturday night? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, not too many people know me right now. I'm very young in my career at 7-0 uh, and right now six knockouts but uh you know sometimes it's not about the record it's about like you know what i'm saying who you walk with who you step with uh i'm around all the greats training in las vegas i've had opportunities to spar world champs the guys in the division of the sport the who's who's of right now um a great amateur record uh you know and just uh my mentality my heart you know what i'm saying where i belong 
You know, I'm, I'm the supporting role right now to the man right now, Terrence Crawford. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy to play that part. You know, uh, you look up my fights, I've always put on viral performances in such a short uh, amount of time. Uh, so, yeah, I just love being that supporting role, man, sharing another stage with, uh, you know, pound for pound, the best boxer in the world right now. It's, uh, it's an amazing opportunity. So I'm going to show them what uh, Oklahoma do from Black Wall Street, Dreamland Milton. The one, Callaway, we look at your record, you're five and one. The one thing that stands out, all those victories, five KOs, power is what resonates when you look at your record. How are you going to utilize that power come Saturday night to take away uh, Mr. Milton's O on his record? Uh, it's not just power. I got skill, too. I'm going to prove that uh, Saturday night. So I'm just here to take care of business. It's a business trip. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's part of our undercard this upcoming Saturday night. Six rounds or less heavyweight division, Jeremiah Milton. The upset minded the Juan Calloway making part of the debut of BLK Prime pay-per-view. We continue with the action. One of our featured bouts on the undercard, we have two world title contenders facing off in a 10 round bout in the super bantamweight division. Fighting out of Odessa, Ukraine, we have Arnold Kagai. Now Arnold, you were on the brink of, of perhaps fighting for a world title and you suffered a, uh, a setback. What does a win for you do this upcoming Saturday night to put you back in world title contention? Um, hello, everybody. Sorry, my English uh, not perfect. Uh, what I think about this uh, Saturday? Correct. How does this put you back on the world stage with a victory over Eduardo Valles? Uh, this fight is very important for me. Uh, I did good uh, camp, good sparring. I think it's a next step for, uh, for a belt. I, I'm very happy for this fight, uh, and don't miss this fight this Saturday. Thank you. Eduardo, I was looking over my notes, and you had one of, the, one of my favorite quotes of, of, uh, of the week. You said, when you were asked, to ex what do you expect from this war? Your answer was, I expect a gruesome war. Tuviste una de mis respuestas favoritas en las notas que veo. Te preguntaron, ¿qué esperas de esta pelea? Y tu respuesta fue, yo espero una guerra espantosa. Explica esa respuesta. Eh, bueno, pues, eh, eh, caracterizan a los mexicanos porque damos unas guerras, un show arriba del ring, eh, y esta pues, no va a ser la excepción, ¿no? Eh, estudiamos a mi rival, sé que tiene muchos recursos, y, y con el favor de Dios vamos a seguir con la mano en alto, y muy, muy contentos de que va a ser un show, un espectáculo, si va a ser un espectáculo. La pelea. Basically, because as Mexican fighter, that's what you showcase as a Mexican fighter. I've studied my opponent. I know he's very skilled. And with the favor of God comes Saturday night, we're not only going to put on a great fight, we're going to put on a spectacle. And with the favor of God, that's what I hope to deliver you to you guys uh, this upcoming Saturday night. Our co-feature bout this upcoming Saturday on BLK Prime pay-per-view, we have the MMA legend herself, Chris Cyborg. Now, Chris. You've accomplished pretty much everything there is to do in, in mixed martial arts. Invicta FC champion, Bellator champion, Strike Force champion, UFC champion. What prompted you to make the leap into the boxing professional ranks? You know, I just want to say thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for everyone here. You know, 18 years doing MMA, and uh, now where I'm at, you know, doing boxing fight. For me, I was in my praise. I say, God, you know, and I live my life doing any sport you put me. And he sent me here. So, you know, I, lo I love to fight. I enjoy fight. And I'm grateful for the opportunity to fight Sam Card, Graf Ford, and all the fighters here. And I'm going to do my best. You know, I've been training. I've been learning. I want to teach you, Bene uh, thank you, Benavidas team, for all the support. And, you know, I love fight. i uh, born for this. And I'm going to give you a show for you guys Saturday. If you are successful Saturday night, or, or as most fighters like to say, when I am successful after Saturday night, there are many dream matchups in boxing that could include your name. What are some of those dream matchups you look forward to down the line in, in professional boxing? What are some of the names that you want to get in the ring? You know, first, I like to see the person in front of me, and I'm doing, I'm doing great uh, Saturday, and you know, it goes slowly, and the, the big fight is going to come in, and I'm going to be ready. I'm not going to say any name, I'm just going to do my best Saturday. Gabrielle, you have the, the pleasure of welcoming an MMA legend into the boxing world. Is there added pressure for you as a, as a boxer? Do you feel like you're representing boxing 
when you're welcoming someone coming from a totally uh, a similar discipline, but obviously a very different sport into the boxing world? Um, I don't think there's any added pressure, uh, just because Cyborg is a legend, but right now she's my opponent, so that goes out the window. Now you, you have twice as many professional bouts as she does. How do you feel that experience will help you? And what have you seen in her stand of game that you think you can utilize Saturday night? Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see Saturday night. All right, we will wait and see. We're at the highly anticipated co-feature of the night. We have Chris Cyborg, Gabrielle Holloway. We'll be matching up here at the CHI Health Center, Omaha, Nebraska. And our highly anticipated return, our main event, as we mentioned, BAK Prime. BLK Prime pay-per-view jumps into boxing in a massive way. On the line, the WBO Welterweight Championship. It is hometown hero, pound for pound king, Terrence Crawford, facing off against the upset-minded and the very dangerous David Avanesian. Now, David, let me, let me start with you. You've been in this role before. You have been the guy that has been brought into the hometown heroes town, the undefeated fighters town, and you seem to thrive in that particular atmosphere. What is it about you? What is it about your game that you're, you've been so successful in that role? Hi, everybody. Hi, Omaha. Всем привет, кто смотрит ребят на Instagram, Баревне. Listen, uh, this is big fight, good fight. I have good camp. Uh, this is my job. Uh, Saturday, I need to go ring and give everything for this fight. I need to win this fight. In some of my notes, I noticed you said, everyone is talking about him. Everyone is talking about him. My name really isn't being mentioned. I don't think that they realize what, what a great fighter I am. I'm here not only to win this fight decisively, but I'm here to shock the world. Picture for me, what does it say Sunday morning when David Avanesian shocks the world. What do the headlines say with your name on there? What, what will the newspapers read? David Avanesian does what? Yeah, and news. Wake up and new champion. And go home and happy. Check belt. Go home, see my family. I long time no see my family. Three months. Very miss is need to go home. Still happy. Everything good. Listen. Many boxer, no boxer, is boxer good to understand? Many boxing fans, maybe only little who drinky, sit up, see TV, say this is no good fight. David Avanes and who understand boxing, he knows uh, who this is good fight. But he see David before loss, listen, after loss, David show people is David change now. And uh, I know this is good fight is. I'm happy for this fight. It's, my God give me a big chance. And uh, Saturday, I give everything for this fight. It's, I do my best. Terrence, four years in the making, you're returning here to Omaha. Some of your biggest and most memorable moments have happened here inside of this arena. A, a few years back, you and I were talking, and I asked you, I said, is Omaha a boxing town, or are they a Terrence Crawford town? And you said, it's a Terrence Crawford town. Explain to me that relationship and what is it between you and the city of Omaha that, that you've made such a connection with the fans here in, uh, in Middle America? Well, I think it, it all started when I was an amateur, being a, being a top amateur, uh, being number one in the nation and, you know, carrying Omaha on my back for so long, uh, fighting here, you know, in the Golden Glove Nationals, in the championship, in the finals. I think that's when Omaha really gravitated to Terrence Crawford and, you know, for me to stand on bringing the big fights back to Omaha, being that there haven't been nothing like this ever before. Um, they, they give back just like I give to them. Seeing how, how David had mentioned that your name is the only one that's being showcased out there, is there a lot of pressure on you? Obviously, hardcore fans know what David has done. They know his accomplishments. They know that he's gone into undefeated fighters' hometowns before and upset the party, as they say. How do you feel when, when, you, when they don't mention his name and they talk about Terrence Crawford? Is it all the pressure on you to make sure that this goes as planned this upcoming Saturday night? And how do you do that? Well, look, like I've been saying in the interviews, I'm very focused. I've been focused since day one on just one man, and that's him. Uh, we know what he brings to the table, but we're going to elevate, you know, 
to a higher no, a higher level. And uh, this Saturday, you know, we're going to be victorious. And, you know, we're going to have a, a nice time doing it. We're going to have fun. You guys have one opponent in common, which is Agidius Kavalowskis. You say, in every training camp, I train like I'm fighting King Kong. What have you taken from his fight with Agidius and your fight, and how do you incorporate that into Saturday night? What tactics will you be using? Well, I really can't, you know, uh, look at too much of who he fought and how he fought him, because styles make fights, and, you know, um, we both had two different outcomes in, in the fight with uh, Adidas. So, you know, um, when me and him fight, we're going to make our adjustments on the fly. And, you know, um, we're going to do what we do best, and that's Sean. This upcoming Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen, the return of the pound for pound king. WBO welterweight championship on the line as BLK Prime enters the boxing world in a massive way. It is the pay-per-view, Crawford versus Avanesian. We will be facing off our fighters right now before we wrap up our press conference and separate for individual interviews. Our opening bout, please welcome to the center of the stage to face off. We have Steven So Cold Nelson, James Ballard, opening up the pay-per-view. Eight rounds or less in the light heavyweight division. The undefeated Steven Nelson. The fighter who brings all that Detroit boxing heritage with him into the ring. James Ballard looking to take that O from So Cold this upcoming Saturday night, opening up the BLK Prime pay per view here at CHI Center, Omaha, Nebraska. Fighters, if you could face the front for our cameras. Again, ladies and gentlemen, this is our opening bout of the pay-per-view, an absolutely stacked undercard. Some of the top young fighters in the sport facing off against their toughest opposition to date this Saturday night. Thank you, gentlemen. Our next bout to face off. A six-round heavyweight action, also undefeated, fighting out of Las Vegas by way of Oklahoma City, Jeremiah Dreamland Milton against the skillful and power-punching fighter out of Ohio, the Juan Calloway. Making a part of our stacked undercard. It is BLK Prime pay-per-view. Crawford Avanesian. Live from here in Middle America, Omaha, Nebraska. Our next bout to face off, two title contenders looking to get back on the world stage. Ten round super bantamweight division out of Odessa, Ukraine, Arnold Kagai. Facing off against the rugged Mexican fighter from Mexicali, Baja California, Mexico, Eduardo Baez. It is Kagai Baez, 10 rounds or less, super bantamweight division. Our co-feature set for four rounds in the super welterweight division. She has conquered the MMA world, not looking to do the same. In her second professional bout in the world of boxing, please welcome MMA legend Chris Cyborg facing off against the upset-minded, rugged challenger Gabrielle Holloway. It is the BLK Prime pay-per-view co-feature. Four rounds or less, super welterweight division, Cyborg versus Holloway. And now our main event, 12 rounds of WBO Welterweight Championship on the line. Pound for pound, King Terrence Bud Crawford 
Facing off on the man who's here, the spoil the party, David Avanesian. It is BLK Prime pay-per-view. Available on all cable and satellite providers and streaming on BLKPrime.com. Crawford Avanesian, our main event. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're expecting an absolutely massive, raucous crowd this upcoming Saturday night. The return of the Pound for Pound King on BLK Prime pay-per-view. Terrence Bud Crawford versus David Avanesian. The WBO World Welterweight Championship on the line, as well as a stacked undercard. Some of the top young fighters in the sport facing off against their toughest opposition to date. We will see you Saturday night, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.